Hello again, YouTubers on Spongebob 101, back here again on the Other Stuff channel. Welcome to another Pokemon review video. This here box just came in from Taiwan, and actually it's the very first package I've ever gotten from Taiwan. I've been to Taiwan before, uh, but never actually ordered anything from there. So, as you can read from the title, we are unboxing a very cool Pokemon item. And I'll show you guys what it looks like, or actually you should be able to see it inside the thumbnail. So it is none other than the Pokemon Z-Ring. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this Pokemon Z-Ring. So as you can see on the top, it shows you how to swap out the Z-Crystals. On the top here, it shows compatibility with a RK machine. I think it's called Pokemon Gaole. Okay, so that's some sort of arcade machine game, which the Z-Ring is compatible with as well for Z-Moves. Of course, manufactured and distributed by Takarotomi. And then we have the coolest feature, compatibility with the mainline Pokemon games in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. So you can actually activate Z-Moves using this Z-Ring, which is super duper cool, and I hope to show you guys in this video. And then on the bottom here, it says Z-Ring, and of course you've got Ash Ketchum from the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. On the back here, we have some instructions. This one actually shows you how to attach the Z-Crystal to the bracelet, and you need to put it right side up. This here shows you how to use it with the Nintendo 3DS. You just gotta put it close to it, and then it will glow, and then you can use the Z-Move. And then on the bottom, it's instructions for use with the Pokemon Ga Ole arcade machine here. Now, before we get into this product itself, I do want to bring up my copy of Pokemon Sun here because inside the game, there should be this leaflet. And it shows you exactly what we're talking about here. Pokemon Z Ring Bracelet Z. Well, uh, they had to put Z on both ends, huh? Enhance your Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon video game experience. Available for purchase only in select countries. Uh, accessories so separately so z ring reacts when you launch your z move in the game and then there is vibration light and sound effects changing for each z crystal so that's actually really cool in the back here pokemon bank irrelevant for purposes of this video but yeah they did advertise this back in the pokemon sun and moon games in that leak specifically one more thing before we get to the unboxing here is a mega ring this is the limited edition shiny mega gengar one now you can see it is way way smaller way smaller than the z ring it has the keystone uh, the slot for the mega stone and no visible sensors so like this it does open at a hinge so like that and then you can you know put your hand through but it doesn't have such a chunky like body so this is way lighter and i'm biased towards mega evolution i think mega rings are still cooler but in terms of functionality you gotta admit being able to connect with 3DS here is something that this really shows. Hey, so let's, without further ado, unbox this thing. Now, I'm just gonna here. This actually is fairly bulky as well, uh, not just in terms of the size, but in terms of weight. You can see the Z ring or Z bracelet. I'm gonna slot this out. All right, so we got the bracelet out and now we need to get the Z crystal as well. I think we just, yeah, we just do this and then we can pop it back out again. Okay, so there is also a instruction manual that is included here. I'm going to show you guys what it says because this wouldn't be a review if we didn't go through everything. All right, so it does require batteries, uh, not the LR44 that go into the Mega Ring. This actually requires standard AAA batteries, it looks like. Um, and you have to unscrew the slot for, to insert the batteries. So I'm not sure if this actually already has batteries in it or not. We shall see. I mean, we'll find out very shortly. And then on the back, there is the guide on how to actually use the Z-Rings. Now, I have my Nintendo 3DS or new Nintendo 2DS XL here, and I have Pokemon Sun loaded. So just to translate what we see on this manual here, first up, we have to go over to settings. So let's go over to settings. I'm not gonna be playing the music because uh, I don't want to get this copyrighted or anything. But yeah, the next thing is we need to go to other settings. So it's the bottom right one. And it has, uh, the option is right under 3D. So let's see, what is what says 3D? Okay, nothing says 3D. <laughs> okay, let me just look closer at what icon this is. Um, I think it is sound. Yeah, I think it is sound. You can see the mic on the bottom there, so this one has to be sound. 
and then second option, which is stereo in on in English, and then you click OK, and then change the stereo sound, and then you press exit. Okay, so that's basically all you need to do. All right, so let's take a look first at the Z crystal. You can see the arrow up there tells you which way to put it in. On the back, we've got the chip inside and the three pins that you need to pin it on on the Z bracelet. So that's the Z crystal. As for the Z bracelet. So here we have the three pins that the Z crystal is supposed to go on. And there is a latch, right? So you latch it on on top and then to release it, you push this thing, I think, uh, to release it. So I'll show you that in a moment again. We have three slots for Z crystals on each side. So that's a total of seven. You can store seven on it at any one time. And we have this little band like the Mega Ring does. The sensor on the bottom, which is super chunky. And in terms of weight, it's fairly okay. Still heavier than the Mega Ring, but um, you can open it this way. And then the sound I assume comes out from here. And uh, there's some like a product liability information up there. On the bottom here, we have the battery segment. So I've taken the liberty of unscrewing this and putting in two batteries. Now these are the AAA batteries. So the long, narrow ones. And uh, yeah, you need two of them, put it in and screw it back. And then you can actually use the Z-Ring. All right, so I have my Pokemon Sun 3DS game input in my new Nintendo 2DS XL over here. And we have the Z bracelet over here. So now I'm gonna show you how the crystal actually goes in. To All put in. the Z crystal onto the Z ring or the Z bracelet, you gotta clip the top portion here onto this little hook thing. So it just goes like this and then press it down and it is secured. So it's not gonna be wobbling around anymore. And in terms of activating it, it's actually this button. So you, you can press it and it's, it'll start lighting up. Ring. Well, there's a couple of ways to activate this. Now the normal setting that you should see is this one. It's in the middle right here. And this little latch or lever thing is on below the arrow. So on this setting, if you press this button here, it will actually have this. So that's the sound and lighting effect on that setting. And then if you move it to the left, just like that. And then if you move it far to the right. So I only have one Z crystal here to show you. So I assume the rightmost setting is the one that matches the Z crystal and the leftmost setting might be a random one. But so far I've only gotten the blue color. So it might depend on the crystal you have. So in order to actually use it with Nintendo 3DS, you actually have to put it on this setting, the rightmost setting. And so I have my Pokemon Sun and Moon. Okay, it's actually just Pokemon Sun on, on the new Nintendo 2DS. So I'm gonna raise the volume here. All right, and we're gonna walk around. I have Magnezone at the front of my party with the Electrum Z Z Crystal. And how it works is once it's on this setting, you just have to go into Z Power and activate it and it will light up. There you go. There we go. There's two more things that I wanna try with this. And the first is whether it would work with another Pokemon that isn't holding a Electrum Z. Again, we're gonna walk in the grass. All right, so. It's gonna, it's gonna be weird if it's yellow color as well. So uh, let's see what happens here. Ah. So it still does work. It has that blue color. So let's now. see if we use the Z ring to activate the Z move and it'll have a red color. Because again, we've only seen yellow and blue so far with this single Z crystal. Okay, we've got two cannon and we need to activate the uh, Z move here. So I'm just gonna press fight, Z power. It still lights up. Okay, Inferno Overdrive. It does. That is super duper cool.
Whoa. Okay, so at least with this trial, I can safely assume that depending on the Z crystal you have in game, it will still light up with the respective color, even though you don't have that specific Z crystal. Oh, no, we're just gonna do one more to be super sure. Now I have Lorantis with the Grassium Z crystal activated. We've got another Wingle, and let's see if it shows green. So I like green, so might as well just include it in this video. We're gonna go Z power here and Bloom Doom. And it does work. That is super duper cool. Yep. Now time for the last thing I want to do in this video. Here we are in Pokemon Ultra Sun. I wanted to see if the Z-Ring or Z-Bracelet is compatible with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon as well. So let's step into the grass. I have Primarinium C attached to Primarina right now. Right. So here we have, again, now they actually released a new version of the Z-Ring. It was a Z-Power Ring. And um, it doesn't seem like it... Yeah, so it doesn't work with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, unfortunately. You can see there is a different type of Z-Ring. It's the Z-Power Ring now and not the Z-Ring anymore. So if you ask me whether this is worth buying or not, of course it depends on the price. The reason why I bought this is because I've already done a review for Mega Rings and for the Dynamax band. So I just was missing out the Z-Ring. And of course now I technically am missing out on the Z-Power Rings. If I ever get a deal on that, I'll make sure to buy it and show it to you guys. But for now, I think it's a pretty cool toy slash collectible. And um, you can get all of the extra Z crystals as well. And I assume they will have that um, different kind of color lights depending on which one you put in, which is super cool uh, if you like that kind of thing. So I still think that the Mega Rings are cooler, but in terms of functionality, in terms of how you can use them, well, in that specific category, Z-Ring is way, way better than the Mega Ring. This only works with the arcade machines, and or, uh, you know, you could just light it up whenever you want, like you put the Mega Stone, or you don't even have to put the Mega Stone. You can just like tap, to close the circuit with your finger <laughs> and it will work as long as the batteries work. I'll see you guys in the next video, whether it's Pokemon, travel, or something else. So till then, see you guys in the next video. Bye.